Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pramod Reddy Kandakure. I am the clinical director in cardiothoracic surgery. I am the aortic surgeon and minimally invasive surgeon in care hospital high tech city Hyderabad. So today I am going to discuss about valve surgeries. So in the heart surgery, valve surgeries are common surgeries. So broadly they are divided into valve replacement surgery and valve repair surgeries. Repair surgeries are done in recent times. The older, older standard uh, technique for valve surgery was valve replacement. So there are four, val four valves in the heart. One is aortic valve, mitral valve, tricuspid valve and pulmonary valve. So out of that, so two are on the left side and two are on the right side. So the four valves, there are different reasons why the valves gets, gets affected. One is rheumatic heart disease when uh, in the childhood we get an infection at the sore throat and then that infection goes to the heart and then the heart valves are damaged. Other one is myxomatous degeneration it is called, that is genetic basically. So the, the valve tissues are different in, in those patients. And uh, the third one is ischemic. In ischemic what happens, the blood supply to the heart is less and then the heart muscle doesn't move and then the valve starts leaking. So and then uh, fourth one is miscellaneous, not uh, putting into this categories but in a different fourth category, different categories are there, those are uh, put it into the miscellaneous. So what are the treatment options for the valve replacement? One is conventional standard sternotomy incision, other one is minimally invasive from right side. Uh, or we can uh, do it from the para paramedian incision. So depending upon the which valve is damaged, so we have a different incision. Avoiding the standard sternotomy also, it is possible. So what we do in uh, valve replacement surgery, so we uh, open the heart from the sternum uh, or from the side, we open the valve uh, and we excise the valve and the put a new valve. So if the patient is less than 50 years, we put a metal valve. And if the patient is more than 60 years, we use a tissue valve or animal valve. The advantages of having a tissue valve is there is no need for anticoagulation and there is no need to do a PTINR test regularly. Whereas in the mechanical valve, we have to do a PTINR test regularly and then, then keep the PTINR in an appropriate uh, range so that there is no chances of bleeding or thrombosis. So that is the reason we uh, give the choice to the patient and uh, depending upon the patient's uh, compatibility and then the patient's uh, what the job they do, they choose which valve they want. The other thing is that the mechanical valve usually lasts longer compared to the tissue valves. If the tissue valves, if you use it in more than 60 years or 70 years of age, then they last little longer. But at a younger age of younger age group, they last less. So the same applies for the aortic valve also and then same applies for the pulmonary valve also. So pulmonary valve, most commonly we use a bioprosthetic valve where annual valve where the longevity is more compared to other because it's a less hemodynamic uh, uh, chamber. So that is the reason we use uh, bioprosthetic valve in that one. So recently most of the surgeons they started doing valve repairs. So we use the patient's own native valve, we repair it uh, with the sutures and then put a ring over that one for the stability of the ring or the stability of the ring and the repair. So in the long term, we have to follow these patients and then we have to monitor these patients with the echo serially because sometimes the chances of wall repair failure is always there. So these are the surgeries we do in wall, uh, valve surgeries, wall repair and replacement. And the patient has to be on follow up regularly and if the patient has to be, has to follow uh, if the mechanical valve is used and acetrum is used, he has to follow a dietary advice by the dietitian. Thank you.